Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we will be using the document software to score a set of pre docked ligands. So the scoring process requires importing the target and the ligands that were previously docked, and then we will prepare our target and perform the scoring process. So the first thing is that I will import the structure of the target. So from file, select import structures. You will find the files for this tutorial in the description below. So the structure of the target is in the PDB format. So select PDB and then select the file. Click open to import the target. Now the structure of the target has been imported in the software. So we can see the target here. And also we can see the parts like the chains and the other parts such as the ligands. You can see it has two native ligands present in it. And next, I will import the ligands. So again, from file, select import structures and select the doc poses SDF file. Click open. And now the ligands have been imported. So these are a pre docked ligands, meaning they have been previously docked. So I click focus to focus on the ligands and also I will activate the depth of field to get a better view. So next we will prepare our target. From structure select prepare protein and from this dialog you can select the options. So first of all the name of the protein that we want to prepare and also the preparation steps such as assigning ligands bond order and adding hydrogen atoms. We will remove water that is outside the active site. Then click OK. And the target has been prepared successfully. So next, we can now perform the scoring process. So from the scoring menu, select scoring ligands. And from this dialog, we can select the options for scoring the ligands. So first of all, these structures, these are the ligands in the table and we want to select all the ligands. Next, the information for the protein, select the protein name that you want. And here we can select which residues that we want to exclude from the protein in the scoring process. So naturally, we want to exclude the ligands. These are the native ligands of the protein. And of course, we don't want them to be included in the scoring process. So usually you have to delete the ligands and then perform like a redocking or a scoring. But this option makes it easier for you. You don't have to delete the ligands from the structure of the target. Simply check the exclude ligands and those ligands will be excluded from the scoring process when scoring each ligand from the table. You can also select to exclude the other residues or the water residues. You can check what are these residues from the protein hierarchy. Simply the residues under each category will be excluded if you check each option. Next, as for the scoring function, we will select the RF score. This is the random forest scoring function, which is a machine learning based scoring function. You can see the details of the scoring function, how it was implemented from the help dialog. Simply click the help and you will see the uh, details about the implementation of the scoring function and the results. And basically, it's practically the same results as in this publication. So now after we have selected the options, click OK. And the ligands will be scored. So the scoring is complete and as we can see here we have this column here called the RF score PK and basically this is the result of the scoring and not that the result is in PK this is the minus log of the activity and simply the higher the value the more active the ligand is predicted to be. You can also see the ligand target interactions from the interactions panel. So from this panel, you can select the protein and which ligand you want to see. It could be a native ligand of the protein or a ligand from the table. 
so for example the current legend first of all I will hide the native legend so you can select which interactions that you want to display for example hydrogen bonding and hydrophobic interactions you can also customize uh, the rules for the interactions or how the interactions are displayed you can export the results for example as an SDF file or as a SCSV file so if you want to export the table from the file select export descriptors and then select the output file and select it as a CSV or as a text file then click save and click OK and the table is exported as a CSV file the document software is a free software and you can easily download it and use it the link is in the description